I mean, you guys essentially get here, you know, quicker than anybody thought you could get here. It's, uh, you know, the way that he motivates guys, the way that he get the best out of guys, you know, the way that he, when he first came in, was actually my first day on campus as well, and the way that he was a zero tolerance type of guy, and the way that he, you know, built that culture from the ground up. I mean, we knew that we had something special you know, dating back to two years ago, <laughs> even though we couldn't play for the any bowl games going 12 and 0. We knew, you know, it was something special. Can you wrap your mind around what you've done in your first three starts? No, no, I can't. <laughs> Definitely not. I can't. Hey, Hugh Cardell, we're calling you a little bit. I know you're just basking in the glory of, of what just happened and everything, but when can you allow yourself to think about what might the future hold? Um, man, I, I don't know. You know, like I said before, I, I just I live not just football. But I take everything one day at a time. You know, right now I'm just focused on getting back to to campus and getting classes started. Actually, so you, are you going to be you're going to be back next year? Um, in my opinion, I mean, in my opinion, yeah, but you never know what the future holds. Right. So. You realize that your your arm strength is, you know, NFL level. I mean, you made some jokes like on social media, you were third string, third string. I mean, you're third string, but you're you're an NFL prospect right away. I mean, that's uh, that's not that's not common, but. Uh, is that why it's kind of this decision sort of who knows? I mean, yeah, it's a definitely a who knows right now. It's up in the air sort of because I don't know, like my number one priority is graduating from the Ohio State University and walking away with, you know, something that no one can take away from. You know, football is, uh, it has it definitely has a um, timetable on it in my career, but, you know, my degree is hands down one of the most important things. And what would the competition be like if all three of you guys are there? Ah, oh, man, you're crazy. We're trying to. We're trying to uh, get all three quarterbacks on the field at one time. <laughs> is that is that reasonable to expect? Nah, we're just joking. But I mean, you know, the competition always been heated. You know, ever since I've been on the campus, I'm sure JT been on campus. You know, dating back to Kenny Guyton. You know, the competition always been heated and always been a, a thin competition. And that's why you able to see guys step up and just you know play as if, as if they was a starter. Like when Braxton went down two years ago, Kenny took the ball down the field against Purdue and we won the game. When Braxton went down last year, you know, Kenny stepped up in uh, two or three games he started and, you know, the offense were, was, you know, moving the ball. When Braxton went down this year, you know, JT stepped in and he did what he was doing, you know, turned to Heisman, Trophy Kennedy, and then when he went down and so on and so on. So that's just the uh, culture in the, in the quarterback uh, room. Yeah, did you have to learn to be patient? You did a great um, job being patient. Not really, but it's hard. You know, I didn't have to learn really how to be patient. I had to learn how to uh, deal with patience, if that sort of makes sense. But, I mean, it's hard, but, I mean, I always really had patience. Did you, did, you, did you really think this was possible? Like, when you got that week before Wisconsin, you hadn't played much at all. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I thought it was possible, but dating back to the beginning of the season, you know, with a healthy Braxton, I think it was, I thought it was possible, but I, I didn't think, you know, I would be in this position. You know, and then when JT stepped up, I thought it was possible, but once again, I didn't think I would be in this position. And then when JT went down, and um, you know, I had that chance to show up, show and prove to my teammates, you know, uh, what that we can do. I mean, I always thought it was really possible, but I'm not gonna always say, yeah, I always figured I'd be in this position, though. Know? Myers said your practice habits changed towards the end of the year. What, why did they change? What? Um, just being more engaged, you know, being more engaged, and um, when I'm not in. You know, just um, paying attention. And, and he and Coach Herman did an unbelievable job with that because, you know, they had practiced the situation. You know, the ones are gone. And he would say, uh, JT just broke a shoelace or he's bleeding. He got to come out of play or he just got hurt and I had to step in. Basically, you know, that was their way of making sure I was paying attention. So. You realize you're a folk hero now in the whole state, right? Uh, I wouldn't say that. You know, this is a whole team win. And, and really, it was a defensive win. I mean, we put up a lot of points, a lot of yards. But the motor, the um, momentum that we fed off the defense is unbelievable. Hey, when, when you went through the entire spring as this team's two, and then you lost it, what went through your mind when Braxton initially went down? Because that could have been you. You're right. I mean, it, it was hard. But when Braxton went down, you know, the battle was still between me and JT as going to be the starter. And me and JT, we always, you know, wanted what's best for each other and what's best for the team. You know, if it was him taking the first team snaps or me. But, I mean, it, it was tough, you know, somewhat losing my spot and going into the fall. But, you know, I had to understand what was best for the team. Could you be a backup again? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Is that the answer? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> The Heisman winner across the field. Did you feel any pressure to match him throw for throw? Oh, oh, definitely not. I mean, I, I mean, I think that's what the uh, that's one of the advantages, you know, because teams go in or quarterbacks go in thinking they got to match Mariota, and that's I mean, come on, that's impossible because if you want to match Mariota, you've been a Heisman Trophy winner. So I just try to play him with myself. You know, I didn't try to do as many things that he did because he was making guys miss in the backfield. And, I'm trying to run over guys. <laughs> so it's definitely no matching his talent, his uh, ability, and his um, leadership level. Is there